Hello and welcome back to Music Mitra. My name is Bindu Naya and this is a channel where we discuss about Indian classical music, especially the South Indian Carnatic music in a very informal and easy to understand manner. So if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when I put out new videos on the similar topics. So this is for people who have an interest in music but are shy to go forward with it because they feel they don't know much and they are scared about what other people will think when they talk, ask them questions. You shy away from concerts because you don't understand what's happening there on stage and but secretly you love to sing and you like to listen. So this is for those people because I was in the same boat having no background in Carnatic music or any classical music for that matter in my childhood. I started learning music along with my kids at a very late stage in my adult life. I was 30 plus when I started learning music and I used to sit with these six year old kids in the class and uh, more than 22, 23 years now. I'm still a student of music and for the past 15 years I'm running Sanskriti Academy in Bangalore where we have trained more than 1000 kids and adults in the basics of Carnatic music and some of them have gone ahead to learn further with very senior gurus in this field and I'm so happy that I could be a part of their journey. Even if one person takes the initiative to go and attend the next concert happening in a city or take the effort to start learning music again if you have left it somewhere in your childhood or start learning music totally fresh like me that's the um, intention here if I can motivate even one person to do that my job is done so friends let's discuss the topic today at hand is Janya Raga for the classification. If you have seen my last video, I spoke about Janya Ragas. So today we are going to talk about further classification of Janya Ragas. Janya Ragas are classified based on the number of swaras that they have. You must have heard of the word Audava or Shadava or Sampurna and wondered what is all this about. So a Audava Raga is one which has five notes. Audava stands for five. Shadava means six. Sampurna meaning seven. So if a Raga is Audava Audava, it means it has five notes in the Arohana and five notes in the Avarohana. For example, you can say Mohanam, Hamsadvani or Hindolam. Five notes. Same way, a mohanam. Sariga padasa, sada pagarisa. Or hamsadvani. Sariga panisa, sani pagarisa. Or abhogi. Sariga madasa, sada magarisa. So, uh, these are ragas which are having only five notes in the arohana and avarohana. Now a raga can have five notes in the arohana but six notes in the avarohana. Then it is known as a audava shadava raga. Shadava meaning six. What's the example of audava shadava? Malahari, we learnt in Sri Gananata, if you know the Gitam, first Gitam that you learn. Sarigma padasa sadapa magarisa. This is Malahari. Five notes in the Aronam. Sarigma padasa. We don't count twice because it's the same sa in the next octave. Sadapa magarisa. So no ni in the Avarohanam. So example of a Audava, Shadava is Malahari. Then you can have Audava Sampurna, Bilahari or you can say Arabhi. They are all Audava Sampurna. Five notes in the Arohana and all the seven notes in the Avarohana. 
Now in the same way, you can have a Shadava Sampurna Raga, where there are six Swaras in the Arohana, seven Swaras in the Avarohana. Example will be Kamboji. Sari Gama Pada Sasani Dapa Magari Sani Pada Kamboji is also a best example for another classification of ragas called Bhashanga Raga. Bhashanga Ragas are ragas that have Anyaswara, so notes that are not present in its parent. So Kamboji is an example of that. Kamboji has both the Nishadams, that is the Kaishiki Nishadam and Kakali Nishadam, though its parent has only the Kaishiki Nishadam. So when we do Sani Pa, you take the Kakali. Nini Dapa is the Kaishiki. So Kamboji is also a Bhashanga Raga apart from being a Shadava Sampurna Raga. So I introduced you to another uh, term today that is Bhashanga Raga. The opposite of Bhashanga is Upanga. Upanga means it's exactly derived from its parent. No foreign notes at all. So when there is a foreign note, even Ananda Bhairavi is considered as a Bhashangaraga, Kamboji is a Bhashangaraga, Bhairavi is a Bhashangaraga. So these are ragas which have one or two notes or even more sometimes which are not there in its parent raga. So I hope you learned the new uh, terms today of uh, Audava, Shadava, Sampurna and then we learned about Upanga and Bhashanga Ragas. So I hope you liked this small bits of information that I am trying to share with you and I would also like to tell you something as a disclaimer. No amount of online learning or online information can replace a real life guru. So if you are thinking of starting music lessons or learning more about music, I would highly recommend after watching such videos like mine, please try to find a guru in your area, wherever you may be in India or abroad, try to find a guru who can guide you. And because a lot of people ask me, you know, can you teach me? and all those um, websites, which website is good. Everything is good. I'm not saying anything is bad, but no website or no online classes can substitute a real life guru. So your first option is find a teacher. Find a teacher, Google for music teachers in your area, and I'm sure you will find somebody. In the event that you don't find somebody, then you can go and enroll in some online classes and uh, some people even asked me by email whether I take classes online. I do take Skype classes for a few of my students in US and Europe but time constraints it's not possible to take many students on Skype. I do have a WhatsApp based program at beginner level and also at Varnam and intermediate levels and uh, if you wish to know more about the whatsapp based learning you can write in to me at sanskriti academy music at gmail.com it's there in the description below sanskriti academy music all one word at gmail.com and please give me a whatsapp number in that and i will send you the details and um, but again i will tell you this is only as a last option please go and find a guru and if you can tell mail me the area that you live maybe i can even help you find a guru for you but that's always the first option so with that i will conclude today's video i hope you have learned something new today Janya Ragas which are classified based on the number of Swaras that it has that is Audava, Shadava, Sampurna and also Janya Ragas classified based on the type of Swaras that is whether it is directly from its parent or it admits foreign notes. So that is Upanga and Bhashanga. So with this I will end today's video.